We're jailing our people because they stood beside a water meter. They're arresting people every morning in Tala because they sat behind a Tonister's car. They're demonizing and criminalizing and shaming our protesters just for being protesters in the media. This is war. It's war with the gloves off on their side. It's brutal class war to impose water charges and to impose austerity. And what they have, they have the guards, they have the courts, they have the Dennis O'Brien owned media, they have the Late Late Show. But we're going to win. But we're going to win because of working class, people power, self-organization, mobilization, like today. The fact that so many people, maybe 10,000, came out with a two days notice. That's a sign that people are reacting, people are mobilizing, people know what's happening is absolutely wrong and it has to be stopped. We do not live, and that's what's clear to people, we do not live in a genuinely democratic or free society. We live in a society where the media, the guards, the courts, they are all used to protect the interests of the rich and the powerful against the rest. That's the case right now, and you can see it, but it's been the case since the very foundation of this state. There's nothing new. Look at the Rossport Five, jailed for standing up to Shell. Look at Margareta Darcy, jailed for standing up to the US war machine. Look at the bin charges protesters. Look at all those injuncted workers, jailed workers in the past for standing up to employers. None of that is new. But what's new is the fact that people across the country, they see it. They see it in a way that they didn't see it on those previous occasions. And that's what has them so scared. And we, that's what also gives us the potential to win. To win, we have to mobilize all of that energy, all of that anger, all of that outrage, and then we have to focus it. We need a strategy for victory, which is on mass, peaceful demonstrations to demand the release of our comrades right now. And that is in the hands of the judge. He can make that decision tomorrow if he chooses. We need to, we need to keep our eye on the prize. This is happening because we're about to defeat the water charges. So we need to make sure we defeat the water charges. We need to mobilize all of ourselves to convince the people in the middle not to pay. Mass non-payment will sink Irish water, will sink the water charges. But then the last point. We know, they know, everybody knows this is no longer just about the water charges. This is about who rules in Irish society. It's about the possibility of a massive left movement in this country for an economic and political revolution. It's about the possibility of ending the rule of Dennis O'Brien, of ending the rule, of ending the rule of the bankers, of ending the rule of the bondholders. It's about the possibility of fundamental and socialist change and about bringing about, for the first time in this state, together with our brothers and sisters across Europe, the rule of the majority, the rule of the 99%. We can do it. It starts now with getting the release of our comrades, smashing the water charges, bringing down the government. Thank you very much.